my god i don't think i've ever been this excited for a video welcome back to another video of me recreating iconic pictures of someone else today as you can tell by the title we will be recreating photos of the one the only the extremely iconic the king that is harry styles we all know him, we all love him. I've recreated a lot of iconic photos of iconic women, but today we're recreating photos of an iconic man because equality. I am very excited. I absolutely adore Harry Styles. I used to spend all of my time reading Harry Styles fan fiction. It really shaped me as a human being. No, but seriously, I absolutely love him. I love his music. Like he is genuinely an amazing musician and I highly recommend you all go listen to his album because it's amazing and it's beautiful and it has some of my favorite songs on it of all time. Before we get started, I just want to give a huge thank you to Samantha from Twitter. She did this amazing recreation of a Harry Styles photo and I saw it on my timeline and I was like oh my god this is so good and she inspired me to do this video so thanks Samantha love you so that's what we're doing today um this video <laughs> this video is going to be very different from my previous recreating iconic photos series because obviously Harry Styles is not a woman so it'd be kind of weird for me to like photoshop my face to look like his it just wouldn't work out because you know so I approached this in a very different way I have put more effort into this video than I have ever put into a video and the video hasn't even it literally just started I really became a DIY queen for this video and it really shows you're gonna see how I chose four pictures that I believe Sorry, I was just really chilly and had to put a sweatshirt on. Oh, where'd I get my sweatshirt from? You really like it? Thanks, it's actually my merch and um, it's linked down below. So if you wanna go get it, you can. This is embroidered, I drew it, they're my eyes. And it's really cute and the most comfortable hoodie I've ever worn. Oh, and look at that, I also have this one and it says ew and it's embroidered and it's pink on a beautiful black hoodie. Oh my God, so comfortable. If you wanna go get my merch and be cool like me, I will have my website linked in the description. Okay, let's get back into the video. Sorry. I'm really all over the place I haven't filmed in like over a week so I'm losing my touch so anyways I chose four photos that are fairly recent that I just think are very like artsy and cute and I just wanted to recreate them I am going to put on a little bit of makeup just because I feel like in the pictures that I chose he is probably wearing like concealer or something what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna do like very minimal makeup and do like a little bit of mascara you know do my makeup just to look like me I'm not trying to look like him in these photos I'm just trying to recreate the actual photo as much as I possibly can so I'm taking more of an artistic approach to this video so let's just get started just stop you crying it's the sign of the time sorry <laughs> that's one of my all-time favorite songs no lie where's the lie did I lie it's so annoying oh my god I can't find my fucking beauty blender. BRB. Well, had to bust open a brand spanking new beauty blender. We're going to put a little bit of concealer on this face. You guys, I have literally not been wearing makeup lately. I saw this tweet that was like, once you become comfortable with not wearing makeup, it really becomes an effort to put it on. And that is so true. I just realized I didn't moisturize or wash my face. I'm so disgusting. I hate washing my face. Does anybody just like absolutely hate washing their face? It's so annoying. I get water everywhere all down my sleeves. Let's talk about Harry Styles, shall we? As you guys know, Harry Styles and Timothy Chalamet are my two celeb crushes, you can say. I was obsessed with Harry Styles fan fiction. And when I say obsessed, I don't mean that lightly. I genuinely like, like I read so much of it. <sighs> oh my God, my brain. I am such a scatterbrain right now. I'm gonna do some contour because you know Harry Styles has those freaking <laughs> cheekbones. Every time I tell my friends that I'm like, I don't wanna be single, I wanna fall in love. They're like, go on Tinder and I'm like, no <laughs> like i have nothing against tinder i think it's great if you're the type of person that can meet somebody off of an app and then like actually get along with them in person but i am not like that like i need to i am just so i mm, i don't know what i'm trying to say it's pretty rare that i find somebody that i actually like like and get along with easily so i really just don't ever see myself meeting someone <laughs> why is this just such a sad topic it's fine <sighs> God, I should have fucking exfoliated. My nose looks gross. Last night, I was taking pictures, like selfies with my mom, like as a joke, and she grabbed my face and like pulled my nose, and I was like, ow, you're gonna break my nose. And her response was, you don't like it anyways. <sighs> I mean, she's right, but 
I look like such a ratty mess right now. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about my appearance anymore. If you don't like me at this, you don't deserve me at my me on Instagram. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a little bit of blush because like I said, I'm just trying to do like normal makeup because I'm not trying to recreate his face. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair though because his hair is like not as long as mine in these photos. So it'd be really weird if I like, should I just cut my hair? Guys, I'm so tempted to cut my hair sometimes. Like I just want to cut it to here and like never think about it or like here like, just want to do it and every time I say I want to cut my hair everyone's like wow you must be gone through something I'm like no I just genuinely hate having to like style my hair because it looks like this if I don't like this is it air dried after sleeping on it like a literal rat's nest okay we're gonna do highlight on I bet Harry Styles wears highlighter there's no way his skin glows that much that naturally there's just no way I'm gonna do a little bit not like anything too crazy my hair feels like straw right now it also looks like straw Okay, next eyebrows. <sighs> Do you ever just like know what you want to say, but you can't find the words to say it and then you just sound like an idiot? Because that's me all the time. I'm so bad with words. I'm so not well spoken, so it's really fun. It's really fun being me. <laughs> okay, now a little bit of mascara and we're good to go. Oops, I got it on my face. I'm a failure. <sighs> okay, and now that I'm done with my makeup for the first photo, this one right here. I just love this picture of him so much. I don't know why. Probably because he looks like a prince. Um, and it's beautiful. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair though. I don't know. We're gonna wing this, but <laughs> this is why I'm a DIY queen. I looked everywhere for a shirt like this. But I couldn't find anything that was good enough or I thought resembled it enough. So what I did was I ordered a white turtleneck and then I bought lace and fabric glue and I glued lace to the turtleneck and it looks exactly like it. I tried it on this morning. It's really hard to get on because there's like so much glue around this, but I freaking did it. And I did this myself and I'm amazing. So I'm gonna put this on real quickly. Oh my God, I literally can't. Oh my God, you guys suck. <sighs> Please, just go on my fucking head, my lord. that very much so what if i do like some type of ponytail oh my god i think that works that might work first boat here let's try it all right brandon's gonna help me take these photos brandon how do you feel about harry styles i think he's a pretty cool dude honestly are you I'll attracted to him yeah i'll probably date him So hideous. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty close. All right, I think we got it. It look, they look pretty good, so I'm gonna see. <laughs> All right, let me go edit. All right, you guys, I just finished editing and I'm very, very impressed. We got like the lighting down, the positioning down, everything looks like pretty spot on, except for the fact that, you know, he's a guy and I don't have a manly face, I don't think. Here is my picture versus the original. I am very, very, very impressed with this. I feel like it looks as close as I could possibly ever make it. The only thing is my hair, since my hair is so light, when I try to make it look darker, it just looks really fake. So it kind of looks like I colored it in so here is the version of me without my hair colored as well Because I honestly think I like that version more because it just looks real I honestly like that picture of myself like I think it's a cool picture It looks professional it looks like it's for a freaking magazine. So I am very impressed I would rate this one a 9 out of 10 you guys can feel free to rate it down below But we're moving on to the next photo and because um, we have a light set up against that wall I'm just gonna do the other one that I wanted to do against that wall. It's this this one right here I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do for my hair but I'm happy that it's in black and white because that's a million times easier for me this was the closest I could find it's actually pretty similar so let me change and try to get this thing off <laughs> wow I look great all right I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair I literally have no idea I think I'm gonna have to try to like make it look like I have bangs but oops sorry I look like a mother from the 70s do you want some pumpkin pie all right this one's gonna be a little bit harder because Cool. How on earth am I supposed to do this? Ew! <laughs> okay. 
Oh my god. Ew. I look like I eat my lunch in the library. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. You guys, this is not working out for me. Oh my god, ew. Ew. I don't like this one, but I feel like it's really embodying like Harry in this picture. You didn't see that? All right, I think that's as best as I'm gonna get. That's absolutely hideous and I've never felt worse. But we're gonna try to take this photo. Are you guys ready? We're gonna try to do it. Cause he's just so cute in this. Like I just wanna... <sighs> God, I hate him. Let's go, come along with me. My camera's probably gonna die, so. Oh my god, that's the hideous thing I've ever seen. Your fucking eyebrow. What do you do to them? What? What about them? Is that how they usually look? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's much, much later. I ate lunch. I edited my picture, but I had to charge my camera, so I had to wait. This one was really funny, but I feel like it turned out pretty well. So here is my picture versus his. Honestly, the, besides the hair looking pretty fake, like I colored it in, I would give this one like a 7 out of 10. I don't know. I mean, you can definitely tell. Like they definitely resemble each other, but it's just not my favorite. But I am very excited for the next photo. It's the one I've been looking forward to the most. It is this photo right here, which was pretty iconic when it came out. I saw it literally everywhere and I know why because it's adorable. He looks adorable in it. So I looked on the internet for literally two hours to try to find something that slightly resembled this shirt that I could like work with. And this was the best I could find. So the stripes are pretty similar to the ones in that photo. I cut the neckline to make it look more like because it was a v-neck and his is just like a big long round neck <laughs> and I got it really oversized and then for the little like he has some weird shoelace ribbon thing on him I don't know what it is but I literally made this I got the shoelaces and I put ribbon onto tape <sighs> We're gonna see how close we can get this one I have to go outside for this and we have to take it there's literally a man taking your shirt off right there Hello Oh, he's like 30. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I mean that kind of works. That actually works pretty well. It's like oversized so it looks kind of like his. I'm just gonna grab like this part of my hair and I'm gonna do like a half up half down kind of thing. You know, you feel me. Let's do it. Brandon's trying to press down grass so that I can lay down in it. I heard something moving around in here. That's cool. Are you serious? Look that looks so the mysterious. I'm gonna just make her lay in it for a while. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty good. It's gonna look good. Like pretty close, I mean. Uh, it's really not. Yeah. Stay, doggy, stay. Having fun yet? you guys so i just finished editing the field picture which was a whole freaking mess that was not fun laying down in that field it was really itchy and the sun is at like a weird point in the sky so it wasn't really doing me any favors but i feel like the pictures got pretty close there's no purple flowers and like the grass is a little bit different but here is my photo versus harry's yeah like i said i feel like i got it as close as i possibly could like it's really hard to try and manage every little position of your body and the shirt and the little string and my hair and my face like it is so much and I feel like it's so much harder than it looks shout out to Brandon honestly he was really pulled through on this video with everything so Brandon you're the best love you buddy everyone go subscribe to him I'll put his link in the description okay you guys time for the last photo um for the last picture I'm gonna be doing this one it, it's extremely iconic the kissy photo um, with his Gucci sunglasses which I actually got I don't know if they're real or not I got them from Amazon they were $150 <laughs> yeah, I genuinely don't know if they're fake or not, but they're cool. Actually, they're really not. They look so cheap. I don't understand why they're $150, but I literally, the only reason I paid that much money for them was because I genuinely could not find a knockoff that looked like them. Maybe I was just looking for the wrong thing, but I spent like an hour searching for something like these and I could not find anything. So sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and pay $150 for glasses that look like they're five. Anyways, let's do this last one so we can finish this video. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't even look like himself there. It's Mom, just how weird. Do you know? You don't even know who he is. I know who he is. You made me watch many movies with him in it. That's Timothy Chalamet. Oh. What if I held it, but then I can't film?
this was the best that I could do. Here's my photo versus his. I still feel like it's pretty close. The coloring might be a little bit off, but it was just really difficult to get the lighting. Yeah, this one was probably the most difficult. We put a lot of effort into this one. My mom literally was holding the light above my head. So that was the best that we could do. I would rate the field one like a seven and a half out of 10 and the kissy one a seven out of 10. So obviously my favorite was the first one. I feel like it's just so similar. Like the lighting is so on point. The shirt is on point. My face is on point but i am pretty damn proud of how we did in this video i don't know it was really fun i had fun doing this one it's literally been all day it's five o'clock now and i started at 12 but totally worth it i really like how they came out and i thought this was some, such a fun video to film let me know what you guys think feel free to rate the recreations down below please be nice to me i worked very hard i love you guys so 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 much thanks for watching bye cool when I like maybe I will wear them I really should I spend way too much money on them <laughs> I hate myself